everyone, this is Kay with Japan National Tourism Organization. In this video series, I'd like to take you on a tour of Japan's different regions to share with you what makes each one special in its own right and give you an idea of what you can do and expect while traveling to them. Japan has 10 different regions, which are further segmented into 47 prefectures. Each area has its own something special, with unique dialects, customs, and cultures to explore, and every region has a great day trip option to maximize your trip. So join me as we travel across Japan. Make sure to take note of what inspires you most so you can save it for future travel planning. Located in the northernmost section of the main island of Japan, the Tohoku region is comprised of six rural prefectures. Known for its warm and welcoming locals, despite its impressively cold winters, the Tohoku region has a lot to offer. Dramatic landscapes, rich historical sites, craft sake, and plenty of outdoor activities like rafting, hiking, and skiing. Tohoku's six prefectures are Aomori, Akita, Iwate, Yamagata, Miyagi, and Fukushima. So let's get started. Aomori is the northernmost prefecture in Tohoku, known mainly for the famous Nebuta Festival, which draws millions to the prefecture in August. Aomori is also home to lush primeval forests, world heritage sites, and the highest quality tuna in Japan. Home of the Fuji Apple, you can find delicious apple-flavored treats wherever you go, and Aomori's Hirosaki Castle is a favorite spot to view cherry blossoms in the spring. Akita may be well known for its namesake dog breed, but it is a popular choice for outdoor adventurers and history buffs. The Hachimantai area has the well-preserved samurai district of Kakunodate, which offers a glimpse into Japan's feudal past, and there are an array of outdoor activities to enjoy there too. Next to Akita is Iwate Prefecture. Iwate overlooks the Pacific Ocean, sandwiched between the Old Mountains and the picturesque Sanriku coastline. It's home to some of Japan's best ski resorts and hot springs. With four regions to see, all of Iwate is marked by themes of nature, worship, traditional folklore, and samurai history. Gourmands are also drawn here for some of Japan's best wagyu beef, rice, and sake. Our next stop on this Tohoku tour is Yamagata. Bordered by the Sea of Japan to the west and mountains to the east, Yamagata is known for its nature, exceptional rice, and of course sake. Along the coast sits the port cities of Tsuruoka and Sakata, and inland is Zao Onsen, an area of hot springs, ski slopes, and spectacular snow-covered trees called snow monsters. Next to Yamagata is Miyagi Prefecture. Its capital city of Sendai is home to Tohoku's largest entertainment district, Kokubuncho, where you can find more than 3,000 bars and restaurants. This is the perfect place to visit a Japanese pub known as izakaya, where you can enjoy local sake and plenty of tasty local small bites. Additionally, Miyagi boasts several hot spring resorts, historical attractions, festivals, and the iconic Matsushima Bay. I talk more in detail about Matsushima Bay in a separate video, so definitely check that out for more detail on what to see and do there. The last stop on our trip through Tohoku is Fukushima Prefecture, which is the third largest prefecture in all of Japan. Found at the southernmost tip of the Tohoku region, Fukushima fosters unique traditions of food and culture. Fukushima's Aizu Wakamatsu area has a rich samurai history, which you can still see and learn about today in places like the Aizu Samurai Residences and beautiful Tsuruga Castle. Ochijuku Post Town is straight out of a period drama, with thatched roof buildings housing little shops and restaurants where you can try signature dishes like Kitakata Ramen. Fukushima is especially beautiful in the fall when the leaves change colors. This is an excellent time to stay in an onsen ryokan or hot spring resort such as Aizu Higashiyama Onsen, where you can find geisha to visit your ryokan and entertain you during dinner. There are so many destinations to choose from when it comes to visiting Japan that sometimes it can feel a little overwhelming. Just know that you really can't go wrong. No matter what part of Japan you visit, you'll have plenty of immersive activities, historical sites, and great outdoor adventures to choose from. That's all for us this time, but be sure to hit like and subscribe for more helpful Japan travel tips. <laughs>